Welcome to Unity Tips and Tricks. In this video we're going to take a look at using a spline controller that's freely available from the Unify community to do a simple camera fly through inside of our scene. Now there are a lot of different spline packages that are available to Unity but this one's quick and simple and it's good enough just to do a, a simple fly through. So to start with I've already set up my project that everything we'll need for this I've, uh, I'm using the bootcamp scene since it looks pretty nice, and I've also downloaded uh, what we just looked at from the Unify community right here, and it comes with these three classes. Um, but let's go back to the web page because uh, you have a few different options that are available to you here. First, uh, there's a regular download, which is JavaScript, then you have a C Sharp version, and then finally there's a separate one that says it's for iPhone. However, Last I tried, the JavaScript one didn't compile right away out of the box, and the reason we had a Unity iPhone was because Unity previously did not support generics uh, on mobile platforms. That's no longer the case, so just to make things easy, you can go ahead and download, download this one right here, and that'll work for you. Now let's set up our fly through. Uh, if we go back into the scene view, we can see that our camera's right here and we'll need to go ahead and give our camera the spline controller script and let's look at the properties for that um, it depends on this spline root object which is pretty much going to be a um, an object that has children um, that are positioned and oriented along the path that you want to go to so let's go ahead and create the game objects to fill that in so call this spline root and let's give it um, maybe four of these guys to, uh, to follow along with. Okay, so starting from the first one we have here, it's right where our camera is starting, so that's about right. And we'll go into a top-down view to position the other um, nodes along our path. So if we come out to the second one, let's move this out here and uh, go ahead and make it so it's facing, you know, the camera should actually curve as it goes around here to face in the direction of the forward vector and probably don't want to make it point out that far. Let's make it come out to here. Okay, so now what we'd be looking at is starting off facing forward, and we're going to curve around there. But um, actually, before we go ahead and fill this out, let's come back into uh, the camera and set which um, object we're going to use as the root. That way we can start to visualize um, the path as we're doing it. Uh, we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and drag spline root right there. And now you just see a red line there because we haven't actually positioned all these yet. So we have one, two, let's go ahead and move this third one out here. And we don't really want to be facing along that direction. So let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit. Maybe, maybe a little more. Okay, too much. Okay. And then finally the last one we'll put out here and also move that one. Uh, that looks about right. And so at this point, if we hit play, um, this should pretty much automatically start going because of the properties we've set down here. Uh, it's going to last about 10 seconds, um, oriented to the node, and it's only going to happen once. And you know, it'll start automatically start and stop. So let's go ahead and take a look. So that was pretty easy, and you could go ahead and adjust those positions to something you like a little better. And um, hope you guys find that useful. Thanks.